good morning and welcome to basic science class dear students we learned certain points from the previous class do you remember it let's recall it together that means let's say that points again then we can remember those points easily okay so let's recall the points that we has we have studied in the previous classes okay first of all we studied that all the plants in our surroundings are useful to us in different ways secondly plants are used as food they are used as medicine they are used as spices plants are used for industrial purposes like timber that means wood is used for making furniture etc then latex like the rubber latex when we use plants as food we may use the leaves like moringa curry leaves etc we may use stem for cooking then we may use flowers like cauliflower we may use fruits like mango apple and we may use seeds like the rice and other grains these are all we used as food right now let's consider the plants that are used as food now look at the picture what is it tell me what is it yes it's a piece of ginger am i right it's a piece of ginger all of you familiar about it my question is that is ginger is a root or a stem i repeat is ginger is a root or a stem is it root or stem can you guess whatever it may be your answer let's check it out it's a stem it may be amazing right it's an amazing fact that ginger is often mistaken as being a root in fact it is actually an underground stem ginger plant uses this underground stem to store food so it will swollen try to observe a ginger or a turmeric closely but do you see it is not green in color like any other stem right why because it is found underground there is no sunlight so it is not green in color but you can see nodes in the ginger or turmeric nodes what is a node node is a place where leaves and branches arise in a main stem node is a place where leaves and branches arise in a main stem it is also found in the underground stems look the look at the picture you can see the potato having nodes in its underground stem so which are the examples for underground stem potato colocasia that means taro chamber elephant yam that means in malayalam chena greater yam otherwise kachil ginger turmeric all are examples for underground stem you may never think like that right you may think that it is roots but never misunderstand that these are all stems but this stems can store food that is why these parts are swollen 
but these underground stems are used for propagating new younger plants you may notice that in potato colocasia elephantium greaterium ginger turmeric we all use these stems to produce new younger plants right these parts are produce new plants from these stem cuttings right so this is another example for underground stems are potato colocasia elephantium greaterium ginger turmeric etc now let's observe a tapioca plant what about tapioca is it a root or stem yes of course it's a root we never use a tapioca root to plant or produce new plantlets we are always plant its stem cuttings for producing new plantlets so tapioca stores its excess food in its root so the roots bulges or swollen by the excessive storage of food these stored food as stored in the roots are used as food by us right so it is a storage root tapioca is a storage root the roots of tapioca is bulged or swollen due to the storage of excess food present in that plant okay so these uh, are called storage roots examples for storage roots are sweet potato arrow root beetroot carrot radish all are roots these roots are storage roots storage roots are examples of roots that are specially modified for storage of the food starch and water they usually grow underground examples are carrot sweet potato uh, radish beetroot arrow root etc okay so now you can distinguish between storage roots and underground stems right underground stems are stem modifications to perform functions such as to store food examples are ginger turmeric potato taro elephantium greaterium etc whereas storage roots are examples of roots that are specially modified for storage of starch examples are carrot sweet potato tapioca beetroot radish etc okay so that is enough for today rest in the next class do the works uh, in the worksheet that i provided along with this class okay rest in the next class see you